Welcome to Vinuta's Math Channel. This is the 14th video of Probability Distribution Chapter Module. This uh, Probability Distribution Model is there for Computer Science and Related Branches and also for other branches. For more information about this, you can refer the first 2 to 3 videos of this playlist. Fine. Now let us uh, uh, continue the problems. The 14th problem is the range of random variables x that is from 1, 2, 3 so on up to n are the probabilities of x are kx that is they have given the values of x for this values of x the corresponding values of probabilities are kx okay if so find the value of k we have to find the value of k and also compute mean and variance we have to find mean variance okay so from this problem what we have to find first one k and then mean next is variance to find the value of k we must have a tabular column of probability distribution so I have written k x is equal to x i what are the values of x they are telling it is 1 2 3 so on up to n so I have taken the same values 1 2 3 so on up to n and the probability distribution for x are k x ok let me write here probability distribution for x is k x so what if the value of x is equal to 1 what will be the probability value for that x is equal to 1 so I have to substitute x is equal to 1 here at x is equal to 1 that is k into 1 which is equal to k so at x is equal to 1 p of x will be equal to k fine similarly at x is equal to 2 substitute the value of x as 2 in this kx equation so k into 2 it is nothing but 2k ok so it will become 2k and it is 3k so on up to it will become nk I guess you understood ok now what is the first question we have to find the value of k to find the value of k we have to use the properties k that is any value here the probability must be greater than or equal to 0 and the sum of the probabilities will always be equal to 1 by using these two properties we can find the value of k sum of p of x is equal to 1 so these are the p of x I'll sum all the things sum of p of x will be equal to k plus 2k plus 3k I am adding all the p of x values that's it sum of p of x means add all the values of p of x so on up to nk this must be equal to 1 ok next from this equation what term we can take common we can take k as common if I take k as common I will remain with 1 here it is nothing but 1 into k in 2 into k if I take k out remain will 2 plus 3 so on up to n which will be equal to 1 ok so k into there is a formula the summation of first n natural numbers first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 this is the formula you have to remember this and there is also uh, two more formulas the summation of square of first n natural numbers this is the summation of first n natural numbers n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the formula this second one the sum of see here the sum of the squares of 
first n natural numbers first n natural numbers means till n natural number starts from 1 so 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so on up to n square this will be equal to formula for this is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus one divided by six <coughs> okay and one more <coughs> one cube plus two cube plus three cube so on up to n cube which will be equal to this is nothing but the summation of cube of first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus one by two whole square this same thing but it is whole square fine this is the formula now <coughs> i have to substitute the values of 1 plus 2 plus 3 as n into n plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 since we are interested to calculate the value of k so k will be equal to I am shifting all the other terms except k from left side to right side so it will become 2 into 1 2 divided by n into n plus 1 so the value of k is 2 divided by n into n plus 1 after finding out the value of k we have to find the mean and variance so let us start to find the mean of the given random variable with the probability distribution okay i have returned the value of k here k is 2 divided by n into n plus 1 the mean the formula for mean is mu is equal to summation xi into pi so i'll substitute xi means 1 1 into pi is k summation so it is plus xi into pi 2 into 2k plus 3 into 3 into 3k plus so on n into n k okay from this what we can take common we can take k as common so it will become 1 plus 2 into 2 let me represent it as 2 square plus 3 into 3 3 square so on up to n into n n square okay which is equal to this 1 1 it is nothing but 1 square i can write 1 as 1 square so if i write in place of 1 it has 1 square the formula i have already shown you show you that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so on up to n square that will be equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 correct now let us substitute the value of k k value is 2 into sorry 2 divided by n into n plus 1 so 2 divided by n into n plus 1 cancel the common terms n n gets cancels n plus 1 n plus 1 next 2 1s are 2 3s are so 22 n plus 1 divided by 3 so the value of mean is 2 n plus 1 divided by 3 now the formula for variance variance v is equal to summation xi square into pi minus mu square that is mean square which is equal to summation xi square we remember that xi is 1 2 3 see here 1 2 3 so on up to n pi is k 2k 3k okay so here they are telling xi square so it is 1 square into k 2 square into 2k okay 3 square into 3k 
I'll write here 1 square into k plus 2 square into 2k plus 3 square into 3k so on up to n square into nk okay we expanded this next minus mu square i'll rewrite as it is afterwards once we solve this reduce this we will substitute the value of mu here that is mean fine now what is common here from these terms k is common take common as k next here 1 square even we can write it as 1 cube also why 1 value of 1 square 1 power 3 1 power 4 everything is same 2 square into 2 it is nothing but 2 cube plus 3 cube so on up to n cube minus mu square we already know the formula 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube so on up to n cube is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square minus mu square at this stage we shall substitute the value of both k and mu square okay the value of k is here the value of mu is here fine i am substituting the value of k is 2 into n into n plus 1 into n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square that means we have to write this term individually two times right so it is n square n plus 1 whole square divided by 2 square is 4 fine minus mu square mu is 2n plus 1 by 3 whole square okay now we have to simplify this cancel the common terms 2 1s are 2 2s are 1 n goes with 1 n n plus 1 n plus 1 gets cancelled so we will remind with n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus this it is in the form of a power a by b whole power m it can be reduced as a power m divided by b power m so we can distribute the powers it is nothing but 2 plus 2 n plus 1 whole square divided by 3 square 3 square it is nothing but 9 so it is n into n plus 1 by 2 minus 2 n plus 1 whole square divided by 3 square is 9 now simplify it keep n into n plus 1 by 2 as it is expand this 2a plus 1 whole square 2n sorry 2n plus 1 whole square it is in the form of a plus b whole square so the formula is a square plus b square plus 2ab in the place of a we have 2n in the place of b we have 1 so a square that is 2n whole square plus b square 1 square plus 2 into in place of a 2n is there in place of b 1 is there i am just substituting the values 2n whole square that means we have to give square to both 2 as well as n 2 square is 4 n square plus 1 square is 1 plus 2 2s are 4 4 1s are 4 4 into n it is 4n so in place of this 2n plus 1 whole square I am writing it as 4n square plus 4n plus 1 okay whole divided by 9 this minus is there for all these three terms now take LCM for this 2 and 9 for 2 and 9 the LCM is 18 okay so the LCM is 18 next 2 2 9s are 18 so multiply that 9 with this numerator 9 into n into n plus 1 minus 9 
if i divide 18 by 9 the rem uh, the quotient is 2 2 into this term so 2 into 4 n square plus 4 n plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 18 i am opening the brackets 9 into n into n plus 1 so it is 9 n into n plus 1 minus 4 to the 8 n square minus into plus minus 2 4 the 8 n minus 8 n minus into plus minus 2 1 the 2 okay i will open this also 9 n into n is 9 n square plus into plus plus if nothing is there the default we will take it as plus 9 n into 1 9 n minus 8 n square minus 8 n minus 2 as it is it will be equal to 1 by 18 group the like terms and do the subtraction or the algebraic additions 9 n square minus 8 n square is n square plus 9 n minus 8 n is plus n minus 2 so we got the variance as 1 by 18 into n square plus n minus 2 okay you, or, or you can also write it as variance as n square plus n minus 2 whole divided by 8 both are correct okay this is the variance and the mu value the mu is 2n plus 1 divided by 3 and the value of k is 2 divided by n into n plus 1 okay in your examination after solving each and everything write the final answers these are the final answers what the what the question was at what the question was right so write the final answer in a box and highlight it okay uh, so we completed this uh, 14th problem also now in the next video we will start with the binomial distribution the poisons distribution and all if you like this video do hit the like button comment your opinion or if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section or you can also join to our telegram group and you can ask your doubts you can share the problems what you have solved and your doubts also in the telegram group thank you for watching keep watching keep supporting happy learning